Welcome to this B1 Printer Leary e-learning session on account balance or what some people call BP statements or call them aging reports. Essentially, the report where you say, hey customer, you owe me the following. So the state, uh, the state before dunning, but just as a general reminder, this is uh, what we see you owe us or as a supplier, this is what uh, you should pay us as a supplier. So without further ado and without uh, going to more about what name is the correct one, in our case it's called BP Balance, um, let's go into business one and see how it works. So account balance is one of the a bit more special ones in the system as it has its own separate GUI and stuff. Uh, SAP, yeah, they have uh, there are various uh, aging reports, as we call them, customers and vendors reliability, and uh, you know them by looking like this. But these are just on screen. The data is never really stored any anywhere. Uh, so we couldn't really integrate into these screens. Uh, and for that reason, we have built our own version of this screen, which we call account balance. If you don't see it, or it says it's not set up, you need to go to Administration, Add-ons, B1 Usability Package, Module Configuration, B1 Printer Delivery, and in the Wizards, you see in the others here, Account Balance. And again, as I mentioned, uh, it has various different names from different people, um, so we needed to choose one of them. And the Account Balance, because it's around business partners, is down here under this uh, menu item called account balance. It can also be run using the mass delivery. It is possible, but it has less options because it needs to be fully automated. So if you look here, you can't even see it here, but you can go into the mass uh, delivery configuration and search uh, for the document type. Uh, where do we have it? Account balance. Do we have it? And you can see there is one, but it's not shown in mass delivery default uh, because people need to be aware of that. Uh, we normally recommend doing this, but if you want to automate them, turn on this here. And if you do that, the mass delivery will now show account balance as one of its options, but with no specific uh, setup here uh, because we want you to use this. But if you want to have a fully automated system, you can do that. So, but let's leave that behind and talk about this screen. So this screen is our version of account uh, or customer aging. And uh, first of all, you can choose if you want to run it for customers or suppliers. 99% use uh, customers, of course, but you can technically send to your supplier, hey, this is what I know you, uh, I owe you. Uh, same setup, uh, whatever you want. There's some simple basic things like from and to BP code, the group of the business partners, the properties, uh, how you want to use them and on all and so on, just like normal. Branches, if you use that in business one. So that is the mate, uh, the field about the customer itself. And then there's the posting dates and due dates, all depending on when should you uh, go from. Uh, should you have zero balance, and then should you show reconciliate uh, things, and should you do preview before execution. And this is actually not on by default preview before execution. So you might want to go to administration, add ons, B1 usability package. Module configuration, you want to print the delivery, and under configuration here, you have the option to say that that uh, preview is default. Uh, it all depends on uh, how your your users want to use it. In my case, I turn it on in demo, so I don't accidentally send uh, too much things around. In the same manner, if you for some reason don't wish to see that account balance entry here, you can actually turn it on uh, off inside here. And I will leave this open because there's some things about uh, various uh, sorting methods and aging uh, methods that we will talk a little about once we see the preview. 
But what we need to do is, of course, is to choose an action. In our case, we can either email, preview, print, or save. I will do email because that's the most common thing. Uh, but let's uh, see what is in here. And I have some huge numbers here because it's a demo database, but these customers owe us money. And uh, we can just simply say, yeah, let's send them the uh, account balance previews. I've set it up to go into my draft folder. So it's running. And once it's done, it will end up in here. It takes a little while because this is a fairly a heavy SQL behind the scenes. Um, probably in my uh, long career in business one, the most advanced SQL I have ever written. Uh, aging is very hard uh, in terms of the SQL behind the scenes, but it is possible. So we have all the aging and account balance reports here, uh, and we can see them as we go here. And if we look at Maxitech, which is the, by far the one that I have the most, uh, it will show all the way back to 2016 in my case that they haven't paid all these things. Uh, and it will show overview of how much it is in the various aging groups. In my case, it's they're way overdue, of course. Uh, so that is the account balance uh, layout. That's a crystal report, of course, that you get for free together with this. And the email body of this is controlled inside the business one, of course, where if we go to our report configuration and search, not add, we search for the, uh, the other, which is account balance. I need to go to search mode. So let's find it here among the, the different ones. So here's account balance. A simple crystal report. The only real thing it needs uh, out of the box and and, ma uh, and mandatory is the card code, but then it sends all these from day two, date eight by and okay, which is essentially all these fields it will send into the crystal report because it needs to uh, to calculate everything. Um, so that is why there's so many of these uh, special keywords about account balance. The crystal itself, we won't go into. Uh, I will let you explore that on your own with uh, some very advanced SQL uh, behind the scenes. So that is the report itself. The print and the print preview is just the default, but the email is of course using a bit of special keywords in that you can see it writes 7.0.0 .0 .0 here. And what in the world is 7.0 on this screen? Well, it doesn't really exist. And that's because we simulate that you are on the business partner master screen, data screen. So 7.0.0 .0 is actually the name here. So if you wanted in the email to put any of the fields here, you could by using the dynamic syntax of business partner master data. That is the reason why uh, we see that special 0.0. Uh, that's uh, 0, 0.0. So in here, we can also see that these account balance previews are grou uh, not grouped, but ordered by the account balance. Uh, and that's why what we can do here, we can do some defaults. For example, the email here controls what is the default when you open the screen. The account balance sorting is right now by balance. So, but if I said, for example, ascending instead. I could go in here, run it again. And now it's the other way around. Often it's by balance. The most, uh, those who owe us the most is the ones we need to send out to first. We could order by the code of the business partner or the name of the business partner. So essentially all the fields that are here. And in the same manner, we can control what we do here, default date by posting due date or document date, which is controlled here. So that is essentially all these fields. And there's nothing much more to it. Again, you can set it up in mass delivery. Uh, doesn't really make sense. Uh, but where you really could uh, set it up would be in the scheduler. So every first of the month, you, you send to the customer, hey, this is uh, what, you, what we know 
you owe us every every time. So that's up to you how you want to set it up. And with that, that was everything about account balance. Hope it was beneficial and see you in the next one.